hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so today we are going to solve bullet code problem number 55 uh, which is jump game so let's head over to lead code quickly to understand the problem statement okay so this is the uh, problem statement of the problem uh, given a array of non-negative integer nums you are initially positioned at the first index of the array each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position okay determine if you are able to reach the last index example is this uh, okay so two three one one four so from this first position i can jump to two next position so from here i can jump till here okay so from here i can jump till one two three okay this position so yes i am able to uh, reach the last index okay so i am going to return true so let's also check this test case so from first index i am able to reach till here okay so from the second index i am able to reach till here from the third index i am able to reach till here but from here i am not able to go anywhere okay so the output is false so don't worry like uh, we'll be discussing these examples in more depth as we move forward so let's uh, check the constraints also the nums dot length is between 1 to 10 to the power 4 and nums of i is between 0 to 10 to the power 5 okay so uh, like int uh, would be sufficient uh, like there is no long and all required so let's move to our whiteboard to understand the problem uh, more in depth okay so uh what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh do a brute force approach okay so uh, what what intuition is like what intuition of this brute force solution is that from this index right uh, you can move two steps forward okay so you can move here or here you can move till here from here okay from here uh, if I start from here what you can do you can move here you can move here or you can move here so eventually I'll maintain this uh, aux array also so uh, when when I'll I'll be at uh, this index and I'll be populating this aux array for this index I'll mark this as true so if this is true then I'll be returning true in this brute force approach and if this, this is not attainable at any position then I am directly returning false okay so let me do a quick uh, dry run of uh, our solution okay so nums dot length is one uh, return true what this means is if a uh, array of single element is given then we are always at the destination so return true so I am taking a auxiliary array of nums length okay this is auxiliary array and this is nums okay so initially auxiliary array would have all its entries as false now what I am doing is I am marking the zeroth index as true because I am already at the zeroth index and uh, I am uh, starting from that so I am marking this as true so now I'll be uh, iterating all the indexes going forward okay so let's start from zero ox of i is false is it false no so now uh, what I am doing is I, I will be checking till how much I can go from here okay so uh, the what is this math dot minimum nums dot length like it is just done to uh, prevent the overflow like if if a really large entry is given here and I don't want to move out of the array like I am limiting that to the end of the array so this mad dot minimum is just doing that you just focus on this i plus nums of i plus one okay what I am saying is that if I am starting from zeroth index and two positions I can go forward so I can reach till uh, this position right this position so what I am going to do is I am going to mark all the in between nodes all the in between array elements as true okay these I am going to mark as true similarly now I am going to uh, move my index forward to position one 
so ox of i again is not false and uh, again i am going to mark the next three positions as true so this is already true this i am going to mark true this i am going to mark true okay now i am going to move to the next index okay this uh, again uh, i'll mark the next index as true this is already true then I will reach here then again I'll mark the next index true this is already true then I'll reach here okay so is this false no it is not false so uh, what would happen is that uh, this uh, for loop won't iterate because we are already at the end of the uh, last element of the array we are already at the destination so if we have reached till here and this aux of i is not equal to false then it means that the destination is reachable okay so i am returning true in that case so had there been a case where uh, the last element would have been false then this if condition would have executed and it would have uh, returned false so in that case destination would not have been reachable so if you have understood this brute force solution let's uh, under let's uh, have a look at time and space complexity of this solution so it's pretty pretty straightforward time complexity is roughly o of n square and space complexity is o of n because we are maintaining this auxiliary array okay now uh, frankly speaking this auxiliary array and this inner for loop is a kind of completely redundant like there is a better solution which we are going to discuss in the uh, next slide so let's have a look at that solution also okay so this is the optimized solution of for this problem so i'll be going through the dry run of this solution on this test case so uh, i'll first of all go through the code first so can jump is a function and nums is the array given to us so if nums dot length is one return true this is taken from previous solution only so uh, array of one length is already at its destination so I'll, I'm directly going to return true. Next, I'm taking the distance as zero. Next, uh, I'm going to enter in this for loop. So what I'm going to do is I'll reach this index, first index, and I'm going to calculate the distance till which I can reach. Okay, distance initially is zero. And then I am going to do mat dot maximum, maximum of distance, which is zero, comma, nums of height, which is two. So this turns out to be two. So I can say that distance is two, which I can cover from here. Okay. So distance is two, which I can cover from here. Okay. So next this if condition, if distance is zero and then I is not equal to nums dot length minus one, uh, I'm going to return false. Uh, what this if condition is saying that uh, if, if I am standing at any node, from which i am not able to move forward and that is not the last uh, index of this array then clearly i i will not be able to reach the end of the uh, array so clearly i am returning false in that case and if this executes successfully i am going to return true so let's continue our uh, dry run of this algorithm so uh, this this would be the first iteration and now let's move the index forward by one position okay we need to decrement the distance also this is one now so now again uh, i am going to check max of distance which is one comma three okay which is clearly three so i'll update my distance as three and again it is not zero so this this won't execute so i'll decrement the distance by one and I'll move to the next index. Now again, the math dot maximum. Okay, the math dot maximum. This is between uh, distance is two and nums of i is one. So this is two. Okay. So again, this is not zero and I am going to decrement the distance by one. I am going to move forward again I'll compute the max distance is 1 and this quantity is also 1 
so maximum of them is one which is again not zero so this if won't execute and uh, uh, I'll decrement the distance okay now I am at index 4 so I'll compute the distance as maximum of uh, 0 comma 4 which is 4 clearly this this is not zero so this won't execute and this would uh, be four and in this step I, i'll decrement the disk by one which would be three okay so this would come out of the for loop and it will return true let's also check a test case uh, in which uh, the L answer turns out to be false so I think there is a case given uh, 3 2 1 0 4 so let's pick these values I'll quickly erase these Okay, these are the values let's uh, again run our uh, algorithm on this test case okay so uh, we'll enter the for loop where we are going to start from this index so this is mat dot maximum or uh, dist which is 0 comma 3 so maximum of 0 comma 3 would be 3 so this is 3 okay Uh, this is clearly not zero and I'm going to decrement the disk by one which is two okay in, in the next iteration let's move to the next step so now maximum would be maximum of this which is two comma the element there which is two so the answer is two so this is already two so this is not zero and I'm going to decrement the disk by one okay so now again let's move to the next iteration and check uh, my dist is 1 and the element at this position is 1 maximum of both is 1 and uh, it is clearly not 0 and I am going to decrement the dist by 1 now in the next iteration this uh, dist what is this dist is 0 maximum of 0 comma the element here is zero so maximum zero comma zero is zero so my dist is zero now dist is zero and i am clearly not at the last index last index is this and i clearly not reached the last index so this if would execute and it would return false in that case so i hope i have uh, explained both the true and false case false case clearly to you so let's uh, discuss the time and space complexity of this uh, solution the so time complexity is o of n we are only doing a single parse of the original array and space complexity is o of uh, one because we are not maintaining any auxiliary array so this was all i wanted to talk about this uh, simple jump game problem so if you like my solution and if you like uh, my code walkthrough please subscribe my channel clean coder as it gives a lot of motivation to me to make similar content once again thanks a lot